to orange sup virgo welcome back to my channel let's get started on a read for virgo sun moon rising venus and the north node if you have a virgo placement tap in uh virgo something about adverse i'm also getting something about um the killer of spirits i feel like someone wants to kill your spirit i feel like because their spirit has been killed their spirit has been annihilated their spirit is fucked in shambles or i feel like someone feels like they're losing it or i feel like you're dealing with a doubter let's see virgo sun moon rising venus and the north node okay so you have if you believe so <laughs> something about justin bieber here virgo or i feel like something about uh let's say faith i feel like uh being faithful or I feel like committing to something here. So or I feel like you're looking for an answer or something like that. I feel like if you believe or this is someone you're dealing with, I feel like uh, you would have to remain positive or they would. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm also getting something about a star. So I feel like you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or something about the North Star, or the North in particular. Uh, I also get with the Star card, this could be a health aspect, some type of influence. This could speak of... Um, replenishing, or I feel like bearing uh, some type of water, Virgo. <laughs> uh, I'm also getting healing uh, Virgo I feel like you could be healing or this is someone else this is like a, a person who does not want you to heal or I don't know what this could be Virgo someone could also be sick so therefore you know I feel like someone they don't care if you're sick because they're sick so it's like hey we're all sick type of energy okay so you have memories so I feel like someone of the past or i feel like something of the past i'm also getting uh photos or something i feel like is of the past or something is i feel more so not permitted or not allowed in your future i feel this could be spiritually i feel like because some type of events that could take place Virgo, I'm also getting memorabilia or things that have been saved or I feel like someone's saving something or I feel like someone's comparing and contrasting or I feel like someone's looking very, very closely. I'm also getting uh, something about a flash. I feel like someone's been flashed or I feel like someone should flash someone or I feel like... um someone they want proof or they want evidence or they want to see something you have massive regrets so let's see okay so you have karmic lessons so i feel like you're dealing with someone who's karmic this could have something to do with abs or i feel like something about working out here or i feel like this could have something to do with plates so i'm also getting uh some type of plated or i feel something uh being plated or implanted is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. So you have karmic lessons. So I feel like this is something you've learned. I feel like you've learned a lesson when it comes to a particular individual. Or I feel like uh, this is someone of the past. I feel like you learned a lesson with this person. Or I feel like there could be a karmic completion surrounding someone of the past. I'm also getting uh, watching. I feel like someone's doing something purposely, Virgo. I feel like someone, first of all, they can't get enough of you. Someone likes to do things purposely when it comes to you. I feel like for a specific or desired outcome, that's never what they imagine or plan on. Let's see. Okay, so you have happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free goal uh, free of goals or setting goals or i feel like um something about free game you have career focused 
So regardless of like this is you, you could be very happily single here or this could be someone else. <laughs> I feel an energy here, Virgo, of um, you're doing something by yourself or I feel like someone's trying to single you out. It's like, okay, sweet talk. And then like talk shit in your ear as they're like trying to single you out or someone's talking shit about you. Sweet talk. You have secret accounts and coping. Uh, I feel like someone, they're in their feelings about you. I feel like someone has deep feelings. I also get someone's trying to act busy or I feel like someone's fake busy. I'm also getting something about Christmas, Virgo. I feel like Christmas time. Fucked up over you, wow. So whoever they are, they're fucked up. They're screwed. Something about braids here. Or I feel like this could have something to do with individuals. So it, an individual uh, problem. I feel like someone's dealing with something that has nothing to do with you. So I feel like you could be the star here, Virgo. You could be this person who's providing influence or I feel like you're doing something with your light, your power, or I feel like this could be um, something that has someone fucked up overall. So whatever it is you're doing, they fucked up over you. Okay, so you have moving on, letting go, and loving you. Free. So another free type of energy. Free-spirited, Virgo, are you? I feel like you could be very free-spirited, or I feel like someone has too much free time as well. They have moving on, letting go, and loving you. So I feel like you're moving on, you're letting go, and I feel like you're loving on yourself. I'm also getting cruising, Virgo. I feel like cruise or something like that, or I feel like something about a, sh a ship or... I feel like this could be vacation. I feel like someone does too much. Like, it's almost like an energy of where you can't control, or I feel like Virgo, you're not trying to control a person. It's just kind of like, okay, so um, this is what it is. Like, okay, so this is how it's going to play out type of energy or okay, so damn, I really must be, you know, that bull or that, <laughs> that bitch, you know what I mean, Virgo, or it's like an energy of, you pouring into yourself is upsetting someone else. So it's like, you can't even, this is like a rapey, some type of rapey shit or I feel like people are just too uh, comfortable is what I'm seeing here. So yet again, I feel like you could be focusing on self. There could be solitude, Virgo. Virgo, you know what someone told me? Someone said, you know you're not supposed to, uh, to have love in your life um, as a tarot reader. Someone told me this. I don't know what you do specifically. Someone could be trying to tell you that as well, like you're not worthy of love. People are truly fucked these days, Virgo. I feel like this has everything to do with jealousy. Jealousy, and I feel like an uh, unfinished, I feel like someone, they're not finished with themselves. They're not finished like developing or something like that. I feel like someone could be underdeveloped as well. Take it how it resonates. I feel like someone's very insecure. I feel like first because of their own life, I feel like this is an observation through their own lenses. And then I feel like they're trying to corrupt you to a certain degree. Clarify that, Spirit. Okay, so you have faith, healing, and meditation. Praying. So I feel like someone's, this could be you, Virgo, or someone else. This could be the person you're dealing with. I feel like someone, they're very focused. I feel like someone's like on the deep end when it comes to you. 
can't make it up. They're under pressure. They feel like you guys are bumping heads. So this is like an energy of where someone, like in their mind, they have you as like, they have you in a certain category in their own mind. So this could be potentially dangerous for, let's say, tactical responses and uh, current events. Let's see. Let's go into the tarot for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. So sources and I feel outcomes, Virgo. I feel uh, certain uh, avenues and outcomes. I, I see a clear path when it comes to certain avenues, outcomes, or I feel like streaming uh, services or platforms, or I feel like by way of whatever, I feel like there could be uh, some form of fairness or an equal opportunity uh, when it comes to, let's say quite a few things. I see fairness or I see justice or things going in your favor rather. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Okay, so you have the Ace of Pentacles with the Lovers, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. The uh, Nine of Cups with the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands with the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, or activation of. So, day and night is what I'm seeing here. Then you have night intellect, or I feel like something about conversations at night, or let's see, focal point at night when it comes to you. So you have the four of pentacles with the ace of cups. So to be honest, a Libra energy, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, to be honest, at night. So someone's very focused on you or sensitive over you. With the queen of cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, nine of swords. Okay, so... I feel like this has something to do with someone's worry, anxiety, stress. Nothing, I feel like this shit has nothing to do with you, ultimately. It has nothing to do with you, or I feel like it's nothing. I feel like someone's making something into something, or I feel like someone's making nothing into something, or I feel like someone, I feel like literally, Virgo, someone draws a blank when it comes to you, or I feel like you make someone draw a blank, or someone's drawing a blank. <laughs> Virgo, I feel like someone could be drawing blanks. That's not, uh, Queen of Wands, that's not funny. Let's see. Okay, so you have uh, a Leo energy. Ten of Cups, <laughs> that's not funny. Whew. Okay, so the activation of... So I feel like this could be uh, something hard. Something very, very hard with the Sun card and you have the Ten of Cups. So Virgo, someone could look at like something that you do or this could be something that you're, uh, you invest your time in or a hobby or some type of study. Someone views it to be like hard, like... How the fuck, like, where is you getting this from? Whatever. I feel like someone has questions with the Ten of Cups. Someone has a lot of mouth as well. I feel like lots and lots of talking. And I feel like this is because of something has been activated when it comes to this person. Let's see. What is the Ten of Cups with the Sun card? So the killer of joy, or I feel like the killer of a spirit. I feel like someone just wants to kill your spirit. It'll never work. Obviously, or I feel like something about a, a service. I feel like this could be uh, through a service or something like that. I feel like you're getting a service done with the Ten of Cups and the Sun card. And there has been something activated uh, when it comes to a service. Or let's say some type of spiritual wisdom and knowledge with the Ten of Pentacles. So some type of, uh, let's say, stability. I feel like you're very stable within yourself. And this is like causing... I don't know, some some shit or I feel like upheaval with another person or I literally feel like, Virgo, you make someone draw a blank like in their mind. Like this is the type of person like with their mouth open like wondering like or I feel like trying to figure out or just in awe of you. Let's see. Okay, so you have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. So you have anxiety, guilt, insomnia, depression, breaking point. So 
I feel like this. <laughs> so there could be insights as well uh, surrounding someone's mental state. That's what I'm seeing here. The Emperor in Aries or Sagittarius. I feel like this person, but this is you. You're free mentally. I feel like uh, there's no, like, you know, delay mentally, Virgo, with you as to where this, this goes uh, into another channel message that I have for you, Virgo. This goes into, like, you being able to transmute or being mutable mentally. So it's kind of an energy like you on what a motherfucker is on. Like, if they on BS, then you're on BS. Or I feel like you're able to discipline yourself to a certain degree. It has someone, like, in this state. Like, why are you so... Like, why are you not bothered? Like, oh my God, I, sh I should be uh, causing some type of, you know, stress or worry or making you depressed or I should have you at your breaking point by now. Like, oh, fuck, why are you not bothered? Like, that's what it's giving. And I feel like you're just like, <laughs> like what the fuck is wrong with folks? With the three of wands, the orchestration of. So I feel like someone loves to orchestrate when it comes to you. This could be someone at a distance. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like someone constantly orchestrates when it comes to you. Or I feel like uh, a Leo, something about a good laugh with the Leo. <laughs> or I feel like um, the orchestration of, or I feel like someone wants you to be laughed at. I feel like someone wants you to be laughed at. Someone wants you to be like, you know, the focal point of some type of breaking point or whatever the case may be. Clarify this. Let's see. So Virgo, I feel like you're dealing with haters. Okay, so the two of wands. Ah. So moving around or let's say doing what you're supposed to with the